Hello and welcome back to Wildlife Hotel. I'm Eric. And I'm Jeffrey. We spent 26 days in Japan and we went everywhere from Tokyo to Osaka and everywhere in between. Japan is an incredible place, a truly life-changing experience for the both of us, and we wouldn't be us if we didn't share those adventures with you. Today we share with you our adventure to the Philosopher's Path in Kyoto, Japan. We got up early. Early for us. And headed to the fabled Philosopher's Walk in Kyoto, Tetsugaku no Michi. The path is named for Nishida Kitaro, one of Japan's most famous philosophers, who purportedly practiced walking meditation along this route on his daily commute to Kyoto University. Strolling the peaceful waterway, we saw large carp, beautiful sakura blossoms, and plenty of people taking photos and videos just like we were. During our trip, it was Hanami season, and the cherry blossoms were spectacular. We arrived around 9am on a Monday morning and had the walk to ourselves for only about 30 minutes before the tour buses began to file in. It never became so crowded that it intruded on our enjoyment of the walk, but if you want to get that perfect selfie, you probably want to show up earlier than we did and avoid weekends. There are all these cute little shops and restaurants lining the walk, but they didn't open until we had left, so make sure to grab something to eat if you go in the morning. Situated just north of the start of the path is the sister temple of the Golden Temple, Kinkakuji. Ginkakuji, the silver temple, makes an excellent place to start your trip. And Nanzenji, one of the most important Zen shrines in Japan is only a few minutes walk past the end of Tetsugaku no Michi making it a good place to see at the end, though you could start at either point. In fact, we started somewhere in the middle because that's where Google Maps took us? There are several smaller shrines, temples, and sites along the way just off the canal. You could spend an entire day wandering this neighborhood if your trip to Kyoto allows, but the walk itself only takes about 30 minutes at a slow pace from one end to the other, and it's only a little over a mile. We stopped at the southern end to visit a Toyo shrine, built in the late Haiyan period for praying for Emperor Uda's illness and is unique in that it is guarded not by the usual koma inu, but a pair of koma nazumi, guardian mice, as well as snakes, kites, and monkeys. Tourists and locals come here to pray for health, longevity, and good luck, and it's serene and shaded place to rest away from the crowds on the main walk for a bit. This was one of our favorite places we visited in Kyoto, and we only wish we had a little more time to visit some of the wonderful places just off the path. We hope you do if you go, and let us know about which are your favorites in the comments for when we go back again. Thank you so much for joining us today. Japan was truly life-changing, and we are so excited to share our adventures with you. If you're interested in more videos from our trip to Japan, follow the link on the right to see more. And until next time, have an adventure!